In VCE Chemistry, the first topic we do is fuels, and in particular we look at alternative fuels, which is alternative to fossil fuels like petrol. One of those alternative fuels is biodiesel. I'm going to look at how we make that now. We're going to start off with some canola oil, some methanol, and all we need from that is then a catalyst, which we use potassium hydroxide. First of all, let's look at what canola oil actually is. The structure of it is a triglyceride, and I've got one right here. This here is a triglyceride. You can see it's kind of got three little arms. These three little arms are called fatty acids, and they're connected to one thing called glycerol via three ester linkages. What's going to happen in this reaction is our methanol molecule, it's going to come into it and it's going to break these ester linkages and break these three arms of fatty acids and they're going to turn into my biodiesel molecule. It's kind of hard to see here, but this here is an ester linkage, which is part of my triglyceride, which is my oil. My, ethyl, my, sorry, my methanol here is going to break up and it's going to break this ester linkage here. And what's going to happen is it is going to form another ester linkage and then we're going to have one of these arms come off as a methyl ester. What's going to be replaced on this backbone here is simply just a hydroxyl. This reaction is known as transesterification because you're going from an ester linkage here and then you're forming another ester linkage. This happens three times, so we're going to also break this ester linkage and this ester linkage. So all these three arms turn into biodiesel molecules. Okay, so that's my reaction. And what I've produced is three methyl esters because the three esters in my triglyceride broke up and I'm left with a byproduct of glycerol. So therefore, my overall products from this transesterification reaction is three methyl esters and glycerol. Let's have a look in practice what it actually looks like. So to produce my biodiesel, as I said, all I need is my oil, which I'm using canola oil and I add about 100 mils of that to my flask. And then my other reactant is my methanol because what that is doing is that's creating our methyl esters. So if I add my methanol to this, what we'll have is a, well, it's not gonna be a mixture, actually. The methanol is not going to be um, mixing with my oil because methanol is highly polar and oil is highly non-polar. So therefore we've got two separate layers here, my methanol sitting on top and my oil, which is more dense, below. To make this reaction happen, I need my catalyst. So in that case, I'm using potassium hydroxide. I take a small amount of potassium hydroxide and I add that to my mixture. What you'll notice is it starts to go cloudy and it starts to actually react. I'm gonna swirl that for a while and you can see the fact that it's gone cloudy and my reaction has started to happen. I know the reaction has completed when it starts to go a bit darker because that signifies my glycerol has been started to produce. So I'm gonna swirl it for a bit longer and we'll see what it looks like afterwards. So you can start to see that it's starting to go a bit darker than this like light cream color that I had beforehand. So it's a nice milky color, and that shows the fact that it's actually a mixture. It's an emulsion of two things. That's because even when it reacts, my methyl esters will be an oily layer, and my glycerol, again, which is much more polar than my methyl esters, that will form a separate layer of, which will be an aqueous layer or a glycerol layer. So what's happened, you can see it's got a nice change in color now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave that to settle, and then I'll show you the two layers and we can see which one's which. Okay, that's been separating out for a little bit longer now. You can start to see the fact that it's got a definite layer down the bottom here. That there is our glycerol layer. I've got one I've done a bit before that, which has a bit more separation. You can see that glycerol layer clearly there. And our methyl ester is this oily layer at the top. Our potassium hydroxide catalyst 
will be in our glycerol layer because it's attracted to the polar regions of the glycerol and our methyl ester there can then be siphoned off the top. I've got another one which I've actually put into a separating funnel. So I'll grab that now and show you what it looks like after it's been sitting for a lot longer. And you can see even more so our, um, our biodiesel up the top here, much clearer, and our glycerol, which is down the bottom here. So that is the process of making our biodiesel. It's a transesterification reaction where what's happening is the methanol is coming in and breaking up the ester linkages within our triglyceride and forming new ester linkages in the methyl ester, which is biodiesel.